All right, so here's the problem. we got a roller coaster that goes through a dip, radius 30 meters, speed 24 meters per second. What is the weight of a 100-kilogram passenger at the bottom of the dip? So here's my dip. Draw my roller coaster car here at the bottom. There's a little passenger in there. And the radius of this thing is 30 meters. So we want the weight. The weight, when we're solving for what the weight of someone is, we're actually looking for their normal force. Um, because it's not M. Your mass doesn't change. That's the protons and neutrons and electrons. It's not the gravity force, because that's MG. That doesn't change. But the normal force, think about when you step on a scale, that's you pushing down on the ground, the ground pushing back on you. It's the normal force that we want. So since we're looking for the normal force, we have to have an equation that has a normal force in it. And in that case, that's going to be, uh, we use our free body diagram uh, because we're going to use the sum of the forces equals MA. And what forces? Well, we have this normal force straight up. We have gravity force down. Since this roller coaster car is going through the circle, And if you're going through a circle, even at constant speed, you're accelerating because, remember, acceleration is a change in velocity, and velocity is speed and direction. So since you're changing direction, and the acceleration when you go through a circle is equal to V squared over R. So we're going to use that over here, and we're going to look at our forces. Remember that positive acceleration is towards the center. So what I'm going to have with this is normal because it's towards the center, minus gravity equals m, and this is where we're going to use that v squared over r for a. Remember that we're solving for the normal force because that's your weight, so normal then becomes m v squared over r plus gravitational force, which we replace that with mg. So now we can just put in the numbers we have. This person is 100 kilograms going 25 meters per second, uh, the radius is 30 meters, plus, again, the mass is 100 kilograms, and then we use 10 meters per second squared to make it a little bit easier for gravity. And we get 3,083 newtons as the normal force or the weight.